Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The Ministry of Economy and Finance is resuming its food delivery cashback program in a bid to promote consumption and minimize the impact of the fourth wave of the coronavirus on the domestic economy. Either from the second or third week of September, you will get 10,000 won back the following month for every four orders of delivery food worth 20,000 won or more. The government is also starting a credit card cashback program in October where you get 10% cashback for monthly credit card bills that increase by 3% or more compared to Q2. Plans for coupons to promote offline consumption will be announced pending vaccination outcomes. Despite stricter loan rules imposed by some banks and authorities warning over the housing market reaching a tipping point, August home prices increased by a record level of 1.5% month-on-month in almost 15 years since jumping by 1.86% in December 2006. Chunse rents increased by 1.03% from July and home sales price forecast index by KB Bank inched up by two points from last month to 125 out of 200, with 200 indicating the biggest likelihood of home price increases. Finally, the World Cup Bridge connecting the new underground's Hubu Expressway and Jimsangno and Inner Circulation Road, or Debu Sunanno, will be open for public use at noon this Wednesday after 11 years of construction. Seoul City expects the World Cup Bridge to take off about 30,000 vehicles from the Seongsan Bridge, which is crossed by a daily average of 150,000 vehicles, and the new subterranean expressway to take off about 50,000 vehicles from the existing expressway, up to which 120,000 vehicles pass through in a day. However, the underground's Hubble Expressway is privately owned, and the private operator will start charging drivers 2,500 won for one way after two weeks of a free-of-charge pilot run. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we're going to take a closer look into the government's decision to get rid of the online shutdown policy and also discuss some key takeaways from the G7 Emergency Summit regarding the current crisis in Afghanistan.